The last part of Butler High's Tech Talk Thursday, February session due to inclement uh, weather, has to do with Google Research and the Google Research tool, which is located inside of Google Drive. This is a great tool, which might be considered an add-on, although it's not something you even have to add to. It's already part of the Google Drive product. Um, for all classes, when it comes to using Google and Drive and Docs for research. So what you want to do is go to drive.google.com. You may have the old version or the new version. It doesn't matter. You'll have your students open a document by clicking Create and New Document. I have an untitled one right here. So I'm going to open it up. And then what you'll want to do is you will want to come across your toolbar to Tools and then click the research button. And if you notice, there are magic keystrokes off to each side. So this is Control Alt Shift I to turn on the Google Research Toolbar. When you turn on the toolbar, and I'm going to move my screen over just a little bit so you can see it, what will happen is on the right hand side of your screen, you'll have a research toolbar pop up. So this is acting like tab scissors and tab glue and the fact that you have your, your Google document right here that you're typing in and now you have your Google search engine that you're going to be searching in. Now the cool thing about Google research is it is automatically auto filtering your uh, searches for um, .org, .edu, and other websites besides .com. So it's already eliminating a lot of that search that you would have to narrow with the Lima operators in Google to find quality uh, research things. So for example, if we were going to look at um, distracted driving, I'm going to do research on distracted driving. What it will do is the Google research toolbar will pull up web results based on um, the top ones that are not .com, so we've got distract, distractiondriving.gov, uh, .org, and so on and so forth, and images that come from the pages. Uh, I can preview the website right here, and if I want to actually go to the website, I can click it and it will open it up. Um, I can cite it automatically in Google, so when I click cite, it's going to create a citation for me right on my page, and we'll scroll to the bottom of my page so you can see this. Um, and it's a footnote, but it is an MLA citation. So students are encouraged to take notes right on this page, and then they have their citations right here. They can copy the citations and put it into a um, work cited page and a separate work cited page. Um, and then if you'll look in your research toolbar, it will give you about the top 10. If you need to go further, if you click web results, it will actually open uh, the Google search engine in a separate tab for distracted driving, again, narrowing the searches for you. And then students could use tab scissors and tab glue to break them apart and then work on them. But they can do all their searches right inside of Google themselves um, and take notes right inside Google. So Google is working really hard to create um, a tool that students can use together. This works in every class because all our students should be citing their work when they're using it for research, whether it be for images, for a PowerPoint, or information that they have used to then put into a pamphlet or a document or a presentation.